think I'll do that this week. I don't know. I'm excited. That is going to be my, my highlight. But man, I wish it was already like Thursday or Friday. Oh my gosh. Like We have a good weekend set up. A good weekend planned, I should say. Um... So, I just want to be that already. And then I dodged having to work on the weekend. What the hell's going on in here? What is with people on my server getting a bunch of one animal or mob and just, and just, and just putting them... How the hell did you get out? What's going on in here? What are you guys doing? Why does this keep happening? God! <laughs> oh. Okay. Do you wish... Cult of Hen? Seriously? What's September 17th? I forget. I, I know we talked about this already. I know we talked about this already. But I already forgot, so... That has to be enough food for me. If it were bringing the bread, too. They keep filling my house with chickens! <laughs> nice. Nice. You're going to Spain? What? Nice! Oh, that's so fun! I'm jealous. That's so fun. That's awesome. Are you gonna meet people there, or are you just going with family, or is this like a... Nope. Going out for a two-week deal. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so we have 21 more coal, just for backup. Alright guys, we're ready to start our mine trade. We're literally mining until we can't buy no more. Aw, oh, fun. Does your older sister... Is she a big gamer too? on the keyboard. <laughs> oh, she did. She introduced you, <laughs> but she doesn't do any streaming or anything. Does she even go on Twitch, or like that? Has she gone to like our channels, like the TLD community, or I don't even know what I consider myself. Am I still part of the TLD community even though I don't play the game? How does that work? I am? Okay. I'm still an official... I'm still one of the six TLD gods. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, kidding, kidding, kidding. I did not. I have not earned that right. Unless we talk about hugging. Then I am a, I'm a hugging god in that game. I will give myself that credit. You are the only? Damn! My head just got a lot bigger. Ego? Whoop! 
I'm gonna hop into Wands stream and be like, oh. Are you guys serious? Pathetic. Uh, that, oh, wasted a stick, I see. Wasted a stick. Has Wands gone partnered yet? I know he was aiming to hit that. I, I literally just, ha I'm not able to view his streams anymore because of my job, but... Really? Well, he's averaging 70, well, over 70 plus? I thought... I guess he deserves it, he deserves it. There's apparently a huge backlog on Twitch. That's just Twitch saying they're so lazy that they can't even partner people because they're so lazy. That like they they literally imagine you do everything correct. You follow the guidelines, you hit the requirements, you hit the goals, and then people sitting on their stupid little fat asses are like, oh, I need to go the extra mile, delay this person, what they've been seeking for a very long time. Many, many years for most. And then I'm gonna forget about it, come back to it in a couple weeks, and then I'm going to approve it. It's like, what? Just, there aren't that many people that actually can officially apply for partnership, if you think about it. There aren't that many people. That's such a hard thing to achieve. Um, like, the, the, the amount of affiliates there are out there? Millions! <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of affiliates. But partnership? Come on now. If, if, if you need the requirements in order to... I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Twitch drops the ball on so many things. I, I can see a backlog on affiliates. That makes sense. You know? Who, who cares <laughs> about getting that affiliate? Um, well, I mean, I obviously you should care about getting affiliate. But I compared to partnership, like, I think you can wait a little bit, you know? It only cooked six while I was gone? What the heck? That's... Alright, well, whatever. They say numbers alone don't guarantee. Which... They don't say that for affiliate. Well, yeah, affiliate is the minimum requirements. Affiliate, in my mind, is Twitch's way of earning extra dough. Because we really don't, I don't make a lot off of Twitch, nor do I really seek it um, very much, especially anymore, because uh, you, you really gotta go balls to the wall 24-7 about Twitch in order to make it really, really, really count. Exactly. Just because you're funny. Um, you, you, yeah, you gotta do a lot. Like, coin did it perfectly. He set a schedule and he stuck to that schedule from day one. And he's obviously a very funny guy. He's got the big mustache. He has a lot of charisma. So it, like it worked out really nice and I'm freaking happy for him because that's like it's cool to see your friend you know make it. Um, and he got partnered really quick. Grow a mustache? <laughs> no. They annoy me so much. No, no, no. I cannot do the mustache. I want to bring back my costumes. I want to bring back uh, my my scary stuff for the, the channel, but I don't know. I, I feel like last year I stressed myself out a lot trying to stick to a schedule, trying to go the extra mile with so many different things, with events, with costumes, with getting the gong more involved. And um, I just... I was like, you know what? This isn't what I want to be doing right now. <laughs> Averion! Thank you so much for the 10 bits. Greatly appreciate it. And great to see you. I hope you've been well. And I hope you're ready for some, uh, some mining because we're on a whole mine trip. We're on a whole mining trip. It's going to be mining, 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 mining. Probably for the rest of these two hours. <laughs> uh, look at it, have fun with friends. Yep, that's how you should look at it, Holmes. 
And of course, once it's, I will say, if it's starting to pick up in that direction, please take advantage of it. Because not many people get that opportunity. Um, and this goes for really any social media. Like if you're if you're doing it for fun and it's like, oh, this is growing really fast, just keep doing it. But don't turn your eye on it because I know so. This is what irritates me. I, I've known many many people. This is you, my YouTube days. Who would... Um... Oh, Ron's got a new job? I didn't know! I need, to, I need to join his stream at work or something. I don't... I need to talk. But... Regardless, I've seen so many people finally make it, but then they're like, they just shrug it off. And it's like... What, what are you doing? And then they don't, they don't upload it anymore. And it's almost... I don't know. It's such a weird thing, because one of my buddies, or old pals that I used to uh, be on YouTube with, he has like 1.2 million subscribers. And I don't know about you, that's a lot of effing people, alright? Hasn't uploaded in two years. And that... <laughs> I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like he quit the moment it, it became successful. It's like, no! <laughs> uh, but hey, to each their own. Some people don't like it, and that's that's okay. But it just it hurts me deep down. Deep down inside, sounds good. Good poop okay. Oh wow! All right, we got another cave. All right, off of my soapbox. We are continuing in our cave. Trying to find an ancient city. It's actually kind of better that we don't have other people on the server at the moment. Because then I can just focus on what we're doing. A little bit. Okay, here is zombie. But we're kind of going a little backwards here. Same vibe. Same, same, same. Anyways, uh, switching topics, I get to go and get wine drunk this Friday or Saturday, and I'm very excited. We just became wine members at this uh, winery that we've been going to for quite some time. Can we count on you to keep on streaming once you make it? Yeah, 100%. 100%. I'm not going anywhere. Whether it's, uh, uh, whether I'm streaming full time or just once a week, I will never leave. Because I've been I've been doing this for 12 years. You know, not streaming in general, but overall content creating. I've been doing it for 12 years, so it's clearly something I like, whether it's successful or not. And, um, it's also a great excuse to play a lot of freaking games. <laughs> We, we, I think last year was the, maybe the first year. Oh, I didn't mean to get that. The Sweet Diamonds was the first year. Not first year, sorry. Was my biggest year for going through like, God, how many games did we go through? 20? All those horror games? Maybe 30. Maybe 30 horror games. And uh, I never would have done that regardless. Like, never. Never, never, never. I'm, I'm one of those people where if I find a game, such as Minecraft, I will play it until I die. But I think horror games, since they've been expanding and been growing into something more, they're starting to actually care about storylines. Um, unless you're, you're playing the Backrooms game. That game is poop. I was so disappointed with the Backrooms. That game might have been my biggest disappointment of the year. And we still have a lot of a year left, you know. We got a lot of time left. It's called the Backrooms 1988, I think. And I, I have problems with horror games being repetitive to the point where you, 
Um. Ah, uh, sounds good, Vi. Sounds good. But Minecraft is so awesome, I would never thought of, like, right? It, it surprises a lot of people because they think it's, like, in some turns, a kid game. You know, it's like, ah, oh, why would I bother playing that? I have, I have Call of Duty, you know? Well, you can get Call of Duty in Minecraft if you mod it correctly. So there's that. We got 14 diamonds already. And I just put away 30. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. But, uh, yeah, if I... If the whole game is... Not giving you a level of fear... I will lose interest very quickly. Either has to have a badass storyline, or it has to just constantly be scary. Have you ever thought of the Mortuary of the Assistance, one of the most terrifying demonic evil? Uh, that's what I almost played today. It, it, <laughs> funny enough, I've been eyeing that game for so long, and uh, I, I just need to do it already. That that will most likely be my next stream, is the Motro. Oh, but then I have to. I gotta wait till fall. <laughs> I gotta wait till fall. I don't have to wait till fall, but I almost did play that game. Today. I've seen a lot of good things about it. Uh, many scares, many spooks. And uh, I just can't wait. You're gonna play it good, Helga. Hopefully, it most likely won't happen. But maybe. Uh, I might be there. Hey, Varian, what game have you been, or games have you been messing around with lately? This is an interesting little cave here. But you stay far away from that game? Ugh. The little bits and pieces I've seen are, uh, interesting. Very interesting. Oh my god, didn't I so jump scare? I had a few. That's why it's so good, but see, this is what they did really well with that game. They made it so you're constantly on edge, and they also made it have a good story. Boom! Great game! The back rooms? What kind of dumbass story was that? What, what was that? I, I was just... I think I sometimes, when I wait to play games, I tend to hype them up in my head a lot. And this is my own fault. This is my own fault um, for doing this. So for all I know, the back rooms is actually a really good game. But in my head, I hyped it up so much that when, like, the moment I started playing it, I disliked it. And it's like, damn it. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, if you want diamonds in this game, go down to negative 49. You're gonna do great. We've been mining for, what, 15 minutes? As I've just been blabbering on 21 diamonds. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Have I found an ancient city yet? No. Will we find one? No, I think. But what I do know is I'm going to be one rich, rich person. I've been playing Dead Frontier 2. Whoa. What is that game? Is that a shooter? Cindy! How's it going, Cindy? Great to see ya. Hope all is well. I hope you're relaxing. The cool side of the Mason Works. Um. Oh, you go to negative 58 and 59 for diamonds? Really? Ooh. I'll have to try that next. This just works out really well because the, the ancient city tends to be negative 49 and negative 50. Or negative 40 to negative 50 area. So that's why I'm kind of sticking to these. But. Oh, lots and lots of. Dangerous to. Nice. Are you. Uh, or did you sell some soap this year? Were you able to? I don't remember what. Time of the season. What is the ancient city thing? So it's just a big underground 
like village city that's abandoned and uh but it, not fully abandoned there is a creature there known as the warden and if you make any noise like literally helga if i did this just jump or if i put a torch down it would signal the warden it would send little signals to him telling him hey there's someone here and if you do that three times he uh what's the word he blinds you and then he t he comes from under you and then he kills you and he he takes like many 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 shots to kill and he hits you in about one or two it's a survivor horror and mo there's no survivor there are daily missions you're a survivor in a city walking or oh fun i love me some zombie games oh, i cry you're so tired that's a lot of work but you guys are doing great you guys are doing great you got i, I will say the well, I guess moving is probably the hardest part. Like, the, the physical move. Um, I don't know how far I should be going in order to try and find... I was told also it's a good idea to um, find a mountain. Crazy full-time job. Yeah. The moment you get up. <laughs> I, know. I know. We're gonna do it, Elga. We're gonna do it. It's gonna have to be on a weekend. That's like the only way I can even... But that's even better, though, because I could normally do longer streams on weekends. I'm thinking of Sunday. Is it bad that I kind of hope someone hops on the server so I can teleport to them in order to just find a mountain and then to go dig into the mountain and try to find a city? I don't know how far, I, or how, yeah, pretty much how far I should commit to this. It's a very long, useless tunnel right now. 